Hey guys, today we're going to walk through how to add some basic automation to your ambient track. And to do this today, I'm going to use the structure of the ambient track that I created in the previous video. There's my drone, there's my melody, and there's the drums that are uh, side chaining the auto filter on the drone channel, which you can see here. To enter automation mode on live 10, you must you just press A. You must first turn off this keyboard here, otherwise you're playing. That's a MIDI keyboard that you you can play instruments with, whichever instrument is enabled. So if you turn that off and then press A, you enter automation mode if you're not already in it, of course. Uh, in Live 9, I think you're just always in automation mode. So the first thing we're going to do with automation, we're going to use it to fade tracks in. And by fade in, we mean start off at either a zero or a low volume and bring it up to where it's at. So my first drone here, you can see it's at zero, which is what we call unity gain. That means it's as loud as it should be, basically. Uh, zero, when you want no volume, that's actually represented by inf or infinite, infinitely soft and it's coming up in decibels, which is a whole other story, which I'm not gonna go through here. Zero is sort of the maximum. You do have an extra six dB of what we call headroom, but um, it's really better if you don't go above zero on, on these tracks. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna enter automation mode by pressing A, and now this red line here, this represents the value of whatever's written here. So in this case, it's the track volume. Anything I click on now, so maybe the panning, left or right, now you can see it says here, track panning. And you know, you can get really detailed, but what we're going for is just the volume. So I'm click on the volume, it says track volume, and this red line uh, indicates the value of this knob or the slider over time. So to fade that in, the first thing I'm gonna do is just make a dot here by clicking once. Um, and then I'll make another dot over here, slide it over to the front, to the start of the track and drag it down. And you can see I've created a ramp now, and this is what that'll sound like. You can see the value changing here. And you can see here, of course, the slider fading up. It's following the value of that line. If that was too slow, I could add another dot here and sort of change, you know, make it come in faster. And then I can do the same for the next one. So here, on this next one that's going to come in, right now it's not automated. And it just comes straight in, but I can also fade that in. So if I click on that, track volume, make a dot here, make a dot, say, here. Go a, a bit of a faster fade in and drag that down from zero. So now when that one comes in, it'll fade in as well. And of course I'll do the same here. This one's already on track volume, but if I'm not sure, click on that. Create a dot here, maybe one here. Maybe make this a longer fade in. Just click on a dot again to get rid of it. And so now I've got my drones fading in. What I can also do is um, I've got all those effects on it that we talked about. I've got those six send effects, or oh, five in this case, because I'm not using the first one on the drone. And I can bring those in, for instance. So let's say the one that's creating a lot of uh, cool bounces here is this one. D. So what I can do instead of having that one going from the start, I can automate the volume of this track. That's the return that has on it the auto filter and a delay. So now I'm talking about the red line in this track because this return track is the one that has the effect on it that I want to change. So I'm going to bring that in slowly. Uh, so I've made a dot. Oops, I've made a dot there. And I made another dot that's now at the start, and I dragged it all the way down. Just to, to do that again, I could have, instead of putting it here, I could put the dot right at the start and just drag it down. And I've created a ramp. So that effect is going to come in slowly. So by the time I get to here, it's, it's, it's uh, at full, at zero. But uh, over the course of the track, that uh, effect is going to fade in slowly. So now... That's all complete right before my my first melody comes in. I've faded in all the drones. I've got faded in that effect. I could fade in other effects too. And I'm about to get my melody. Here we go. 
feel like that sound, it's a nice sound. It comes in a bit harsh. So once again, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the whole melody group. This is my group that has three instruments in it. And I can control the volume of this whole group. Again, if I click on here, that's now showing me the track volume. And over the course of those three playings of the first phrase, I'm going to fade in. So it's going to be at full volume or where I had it by the time it gets to the third phrase. And I'm going to fade it in from not completely quiet, like not, not off, but about, let's say, see what minus 25 dB sounds like. I'll click on there. Here it comes. It's a bit nicer. I'll probably add some more reverb or delay on that or to bring it up a little, uh, to make it sound more spacey. I might bring it up just a t tiny bit by dragging that up. It's not bad. And now the volume is going to gradually increase in that group so that by the time we get to the first full playing of the melody, it's at full volume again. And then at the end of the track, I can do something similar. So as you recall, I let the drones kind of run out uh, at the end of the track after I played, uh, finished with the melody. And I'm just going to drag them out a bit more. And I think I'll just fade them out one by one. So I'll take um, maybe, let's, let's see what this one sounds like, the yellow one. Oops. I really like that one. I'm going to end on that one. So that means, let's say I'll fade out the one that started, I'll fade that out first. I can even start fading it out before the melody's finished. Bring it out there. Then I'll fade out the top one. And I'll drag the other one on a little bit and fade that out as well. And there's a sort of a basic automated structure of my track. Here's the ending of it. Oops. Am I... see the middle drone is starting to fade out now. The first one's going to fade. And then we're just left with the yellow one. Something else that might be fun to do as the track's fading out is play with some of the other settings. So if you remember, I have a slow LFO on the drone, and uh, you can hear that now. And if I increase that, the, the rate of that, of that LFO, the low frequency oscillator, you can get that kind of cool wobbly, uh, wobbly sound. And that might be a fun sort of chaotic way to uh, end the track. So by right clicking on that, show automation, and there it is in the drone track. This red line here controls the, uh, the value of this knob here. So starting, oh, let's see, even, uh, yeah, as the melody's finishing, I'm going to, um, yeah, there it is. Uh, I'm gonna create a dot there. And so by the end of the track, really slowly, it's gonna be getting more and more crazy so uh, I'll drag it down here let's see how far I can go down to let's say 30 second notes there by the end and so now there whoops I created an extra dot there there is one let me make that a bit bigger there you can see now there's the ramp that's controlling this knob here let's have a listen to the effect of that uh, as the track finishes Start sliding down there. Point five. While we're on it, I can also increase the amount as the track's ending. So starting about here, I'm going to start dragging the amount. So it's going to start getting quite crazy. So the amount's increasing, the rate is decreasing. 
you can hear it start to wobble faster now. Hear that drone getting quite wild and crazy now. If you wanted a smoother passage uh, down to get faster and faster, you could use Hertz instead of um, instead of the rate linked. And then here, now that I'm on the Hertz mode, I click it again and draw something similar. And this time the ramp's going to go up, so I'm going to go from 0.03 hertz up to yeah let's go for it so here getting faster Oops. you can hear it getting faster and faster now So there's a few uh, fun ways you can use automation to spice up your track. I hope that's useful.